A local woman says an animal hospital performed a procedure that killed her dog and then the vet lied about what happened. She tells our Team 10 investigator Adam Rakuzin she is still struggling with the loss. Sitting on the rocks, watching dogs playing in the sand and water. This is a calming spot that helps keep Samantha Child's emotions in check. So cute. <laughs> it's the spot that used to be a constant playground for her dog, Henry. This is actually him at this beach, just right over there. Henry was an eight-year-old French bulldog, Samantha's best friend. He was also an internet celebrity, racking up tens of thousands of online followers. <laughs> He would do this howl that just sounded so, so cute. Samantha says she and Henry were inseparable. That was until July of last year. Samantha says Henry wasn't feeling well. He was tired, didn't have much of an appetite, and had difficulty breathing. She took him to California veterinary specialists in Carlsbad. There, Henry was diagnosed with pneumonia. He was there overnight, and I came in every day to visit with him and to talk to the to the doctors every day. According to a lawsuit Samantha filed against the animal hospital and her veterinarian, Benjamin Polanski, a few days into treatment, Polanski wanted to stimulate Henry's appetite with a nasal feeding tube. Which he said was um, very safe and um, he wouldn't even need to be sedated and that it would just stimulate his appetite. Samantha says she left to go run errands but got a phone call telling her to get back to the hospital. When she got there, she says Polanski told her Henry had a stroke. He wasn't breathing on his own. His heart wasn't beating on its own. I said, did something go wrong with the feeding tube? And they said that they had never gotten to the feeding tube, that he'd had the stroke and stopped breathing before they ever got to doing it. Later that day, Henry was gone. It was like, like, so painful. My heart broke. Wanting to know the cause of the stroke, Samantha hired an outside veterinarian to perform a necropsy. The results were shocking. She told me that he didn't have any signs of stroke. There was nothing wrong with his brain. According to the lawsuit, Henry had a collapsed lung caused by an improperly placed feeding tube that punctured his lung. The outside doctor even turned up this medical record of Henry's, a time-stamped radiograph with his name on it showing the feeding tube inside of him. The lawsuit says that x-ray and other records were intentionally concealed from Samantha. The tube was placed by an unlicensed technician and that the tube actually punctured Henry's lung. And then they were aware of that. They fixed the condition, put the tube back in, uh, but did not correct the punctured lung condition. Will Small is Samantha's lawyer. You know, Henry died from professional negligence. 10 News tried to contact California veterinary specialists and Dr. Polanski. A spokesperson for VCA and Polanski says they can't comment on a matter in litigation. However, in court filings, their legal team is asking the court to throw out the case. Among their arguments, case law they say prevents a pet owner from recovering emotional distress damages for the loss of a pet in the veterinary malpractice context. They also argue Henry is considered a form of personal property and his value should be established by fair market value. According to state records, Polanski now works at a different animal hospital. His state record shows no disciplinary actions. Samantha's kept Henry's social media accounts active, a way his memory can live on. Have you been able to move on at all? Yeah. Um, I'm better than I than I was right right after, but I still have hard hard days. Adam Rakusen, Team 10. Now the first court date is set for January of next year.